welcome to the webinar tonight. I'm going to just give you guys a, an overview of what I've been doing probably since, um, look, probably October last year. I've been doing this Twitter strategy and uh, each week I generate leads, free leads from it and for multiple different offers that I offer and um, it works really well. It's a great way just to get some free leads and it probably takes, I don't know, 15 minutes. You don't need to sit in your front of your computer to do it. So it's a bit hard to kind of say how long it's actually going to take. I do it on my iPhone. So I could be, for me here, I'm in an apartment building. I could do it in my elevator. I do it in bed. I do it sitting on the couch. We all always sit with our iPhones. So I don't, necessarily sit here and do it because I don't have time in front of the PC. So it's just something I do on the run when you're waiting for kids or whatever it is. <coughs> I don't see. So um, this is my Twitter profile. And as you can see now, I've got like over 17,000 tweets. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I need to get rid of some of these followings because you don't want to have people you know, you can see my followers now. I've just hit over the two and a half thousand mark, which is pretty good by doing this strategy. And I'm also getting onto some lists. Um, just to, sh I'll give you and I'll show you what it does, and then I'll go back and I'll show you the programs that I use to get these results. Um, first of all, what I, one thing I did do recently is I started. I changed my. Uh, it's not my handle, but it's just my title in my Facebook, in my Twitter to start business info. I actually have a website now called startbusinessinfo.com and I'm using that to create uh, uh, capture pages and it's a WordPress blog and I'm using that through my optimized press to create capture pages. So that's why I've called myself Start Business Info. And that alone just gets reaction because it's not my personal name. Because when you, you know, like uh, if I was to go to to Twitter, it just grabs people's attention. So like if I, like you can see here uh, at Strategy Social Media, you are probably more likely to click on that because you're like, oh yeah, at Strategy, oh, okay, social media, yep, against someone called Porty Callahan, you know. Um, it's kind of just defining what the business is that you're in and that can just separate you from the crowd. That alone can just get you followers, just that one tweak. Uh, you know, if you were to scroll through like Amway training, if you're into Amway, you'd probably click on that against if it had, you know, John blog or whatever his name is in there, you know. Um, so that's just one little tweak that you could do. But as you can see, yeah, from my strategy, I've, um, now getting, I've got a huge amount of tweets out there and my following and my followers. And so I'm looking good. So all these things through here, not the first one, that's a pin tweet. I think I've told you guys about this before. You can pin a tweet to the top of your profile. So if I was to go here, unpin. So if you have uh, a particular offer or a free ebook or a cheat sheet or a giveaway that you really want to push through, then you can just get it. So you tweet it and then just click on these and just go pin to your profile page. And that'll pin it to the top. It's a bit, so that way that offer is always there whenever someone comes in and checks out your uh, Twitter profile. But all these tweets here, so you'll see, does online marketing confuse you? Read my latest blog posts. Uh, five keys to break through stress. Oh, that's something I will show you. It's within one of the apps I use. Learn how to get leads using Twitter for free every day. That's a, um, this is just another one. All these are within this, I use a program called Tweet Jukebox. And all these, so if you can just think of a jukebox, this is something else I'll explain later, missing letter. But all these are within my tweet jukebox. So if you can imagine a, a jukebox and you have, I don't know, 60s rock and roll, 80s, 90s, and you just want to play all different types of music once every hour, then you would program the jukebox to do that and then it would push out a song. And this is exactly the same. So Tweet Jukebox is exactly the same, except it's tweets that you've set up in there in your jukeboxes 
to push out tweets when you want them to go out and I'll show you how it works. So these are, I put in blog posts, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's, yeah, I, I do a lot of blog posts. It looks like it's pushed out a lot of blog posts. Uh, there's a, there's a Mo, big payday system. Um, yeah, a webinar that I promote. Yeah, okay. So, Tweak Jukebox is this. Let's go back here. Tweak Jukebox is owned by a guy called Tim Fargo. Tim Fargo is a huge Twitter guy. And if you follow Twitter long enough, you will soon come along to Tim Fargo. He does some great tweets out there and uh, very captivating tweets. So there is a free version with this. Like everything, there's always a free trial. Uh, I did upgrade to the paid because I wanted more jukebox. I think with the free, you get maybe one jukebox and one jukebox, I think, and you might get like one library that you can access. So because I went to the paid, I can't quite remember what it cost me. It wasn't that much. I thought it was worth it if you really want to um, maximize it. So you can see here my jukeboxes. Uh, the first one, oh, this is a, I'll explain the first two in a minute, but I have um, my blog post tweets. So every time I do a blog post, I come in here, I add a new tweet, I put in a tweet, I put in a, a picture, and I submit or tweet it now, and uh, pretty much done. You can schedule all these. So these are all my blog posts, and I'll probably set maybe, depending on my time, maybe six, six per blog post. And I might use the same pictures. Sometimes I might, um, these are the pictures that I actually have on my blog post. Actually, that one's not, but these ones are. Same pictures I have, or not not SpongeBob, or through my blog posts. And that way, it, it gives congruency between, you know, them seeing that on Twitter to if they did click on the link and went over to my blog, then it's the same picture. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's the article I want to read. It just gives a clean experience in their mind. So, yeah, they're on my blog post. So it's just a really great way to get your content out there. I do do I Am Freedom workshops. I've only got a couple in there. I really, and actually I probably need to turn them off because it's out of date. <laughs> I don't know what's coming to the I Am Freedom stuff. Um, I promote a free Instagram training. This actually gets a lot of, lot of traffic, this Instagram training. It's quite surprising how much traffic it gets, even though I've only got four tweets in here. Mindset tweets. Yeah, I don't really have much in that one. Uh, as some of you know, I do promote MLSP, so I've got um, uh, tweets in here for that offer, uh, and also the weekly webinars. A um, couple of just, um, I've got MTTB in here, and Traffic Monsoon, Amazing Five, just some other small things, not MTTB, but just the other small things that I do promote. And I did a webinar this week and I was promoting the webinar also within here. And what you can do is you can turn them on, turn them off, schedule them. So for example, let's go to like, let's just go to the Iron Freedom Workshop. In this instance, I've got them tweeting out every single day. See, actually I need to change this. It's tweeting every 24 hours, which is not correct. I need to change it. So if I wanted to change this, I just click on say Monday, Tuesday, and I just, um, let's take it to one, should go out at least one, one an hour. And actually if I go all the way down, uh, it should change all of them, there you go. So it promote, that would now promote the Iron Freedom Workshop for a period of 24 hours, one every hour, so it will, um, go through those tweets just like a jukebox and pump one out one every hour accordingly. If for example like you were promoting I don't know a weekly webinar and you really only want to promote it say on the Monday and Tuesday you can actually turn these off. So I don't want to, any tweets for that particular campaign to go out on a Wednesday or a Thursday you just turn them off. 
Um, really, really simple. Like once it's set, yeah, it's easy. And I, I come in here once a week after I do my blog post. If I do two blog posts, I'll come in twice a week because I want to get that out. But if not, did someone type in a message then? I can't see anything if you are. Sorry, I just heard it go. Um, yeah, sorry, I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, if you... Now I've just lost my train of thought. Um, oh, sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought about that. But anyway, yeah, like... um. Yeah, you can promote them and you can just make it go. Oh, yeah. I probably come in here, yeah, if I do a blog post, you know, once or twice a week, depending on how many I do, and I will come in here and then I might just even just get in and just tweak a few other little bits and pieces too, depending on the time that I've got. Add a few extra ones in. Sometimes I get a bit excited about certain things I'm promoting and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've got to get that out and I'll just whack in six or eight tweets about it. It's really pretty easy put in a the other good thing about it too is you really want to um when you're tweeting uh which is a good one to explain mm, I don't, yeah maybe this one uh maybe this one you want to um like you could have the same tweet so, like, for example, yeah, you might, okay, I, I have got it in here somewhere. Like, this here might be a good one. Like, so in this particular tweet here, it is a blog post, but I am actually just targeting, targeting people in Julianese because these people are already in a network marketing business opportunity, more than likely. So I want these people to be targeted. So if I was to come to Twitter and go hashtag, oh, I always forget how to spell this. Uh, there it is. Then my tweet would show up in here and it would only show up in here because this is the hashtag search that all these people are doing. So everybody in here, oh, there we go. See there. So using uh, using YouTube for marketing, live training this Wednesday and you show you new features Julianese. So that way I'm being very laser targeted about who I'm actually trying to target. So if you were just targeting like network marketers or business opportunity or online marketing, it's so broad. So if you could with your blog posts or maybe I am freedoms or whatever, try and get it to be really laser targeted to a particular niche, a particular company. Uh, and that's one of the good things about Twitter is that that's what you can do. You can really focus in because people who are in, say, for example, Julianese are more likely to want uh, help in other areas if you're doing training or they're more likely to look at your network marketing opportunity because they're already in network marketing. OK, because sometimes I know, for example, for myself, like I used to be in Resorts 360 but it, I wanted to know more, so that therefore I went broader and started looking and looking, and that's how I got into MOBE. I was already in a network marketing opportunity, and most people are. Uh, it's very rare that you actually just get somebody who is not in any online business to come into MOBE. Like, you will get it, of course, but majority of the time they've come from somewhere else, or they already have a list, or and they just want to earn a bigger commission, or they're... In something else or they want to learn more they want to know more so they also come for those reasons so that's that's a bit of a nugget actually <laughs> uh, Longevity is another another company so you you don't need to have you know I hear I've got three hashtags no more than three one to two is usually fine here this one here though I was targeting PPC pay-per-click campaign leads PPC so I was targeting people who are hashtagging PPC uh, so if you PPC um, yeah so you know you're targeting people who are also tweeting about a particular topic or business opportunity yeah okay 
Does that make sense? I actually can't see if... Oh, okay, here. I just keep seeing little messages. Uh, that's right. I was fresh. Okay, yeah, see, that's right. Not nearly, exactly. So some people are, but majority of the people that you were to talk, you talk to, probably have been into some sort of network marketing business before. And then they're looking around. I know Christine, she's also been in Resorts 360 before Mo. Um, a lot of people are. So that is just a little nugget of a way that you can laser target a particular niche, okay, with Twitter. So Tweet Jukebox is one thing that I use and that's pretty much how you use it. The other thing that you can do with Tweet Jukebox is you've got a thing called Tweet Jukebox Library. In the free version of Tweet Jukebox, I think you only get Tim Fargo's um, ones, but because I have a paid version, I have access to, I don't even know how many jukeboxes are in here. But what, what's good about this is that like, you know, it's always good instead of just like spamming links out there and content, 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 you need to mix it up with people love motivational stuff, inspirational stuff. So uh, you can come in here and you can pick a jukebox. Like at the moment, I've just actually put this one on and I also do a Tony Robbins one. And you can come in here, there's heaps. You just download it. It's all free. Oh, well, it's free once you've paid for it, once you're paid. I can't remember. It wasn't very expensive. Um, yeah, so there's all sorts of stuff. Brainy quotes in here. There's another lady in here, um, Kim Gast, I think. She's really, really big in social media. And she does some great stuff. Yeah, this lady here, Kim Gast, she does some great stuff. And, um, yeah, she's right into Periscope, Twitter. What else is she into? She does do Facebook. But, yeah, she's real big into social media. So, anyway, that's pretty much Tweet Jukebox. What else can I show you? Um, oh, you can just do a visual schedule, just all the tweets that are going out. So there's the awesome jukebox, best of Tony Robbins. It's telling you when they're going to go out. So so the best of Tony Robbins, each day I'm literally pumping out 60 tweets. It might sound like a lot, but you've got to remember Twitter moves really fast. It, You know, if I was to go to Twitter now and just go to a normal, uh, let's just go to the home. Yeah, like this probably, it'll be, if I sat here for 30 seconds, before you know it, there's tweets coming through. Uh, they come through all the time. Four seconds, five minutes. Oh, that one's five minutes. That was fresh. But so you need to really, there's Tim Fargo. You really need to keep up to date. April Marie Tucker, she's quite big in Instagram, actually. Actually, she does that Instagram cheat sheet I can give away. That Brendan, you've got. And... Yeah, so you, with Twitter, you really need just to keep going and keep going and be in front of your audience and Tweet Jukebox is the best way to be able to do it. The other thing that I like about Tweet Jukebox, I think it's Tweet Jukebox, I can do this. I have Instagram in here. No, I don't, not in this one. Yeah, I can also look at my recent mentions, people that are mentioning me um, or retweeting me. So it's a good way just to be able to scan stuff instead of actually going to the Twitter platform. So retweets, you can see, you know, I've got lots of retweets for my blog posts, which is good because if people are retweeting your blog posts, then you're getting your content, your information out there in front of people constantly and they're sharing it around. And if it's good, people share it. And that's what you want. You want people to keep sharing it and, um, yeah, it's just a really great way to, it's free, it's easy, and it works. Okay, the other thing that um, I'm doing is, it's a, it is a app or a program called Status Brew. Tweet, oh, I should just back up, Tweet Jukebox, there is no app for, the, for your phone, but Status Brew, there is an app, and Twitter, obviously, there's an app. So between the two of them on my phone, I manage a lot of this. I really don't sit here in front of my computer and do any of this unless I am adding some tweets in for my blog posts and anything new that I want to get out there. Okay. So in Status Brew, I actually have my Instagram 
and I have uh, my Twitter. So I can go in here. Status Brew is more for managing your followers, managing your, uh, you, I've got a direct message in here. Before I was using Crowdfire for direct messaging, but I've actually got rid of that now. And I think this is better because I'll show you why. So I'll just scoot straight back down to direct messages. In Crowdfire, I think you could have as many messages as you want, but this is better because you can personalize it. So here I have a welcome direct message. So I can actually put in variables, screen name, name, first name, last name, in my message. So what it actually does is it personalizes it and people don't realize as much that it's a direct message because if any of you guys have been on Twitter long enough, you you can soon realize, you know, oh, it's another automated message. It's an automated message, you know, and sometimes, well, not sometimes, a lot of the time I actually answer automated messages and it's interesting the amount of people that don't get back to you <laughs> against people that do and the people that do, you go, okay, well, you're active, whereas a lot of people don't and you just go, okay, yeah. Um, so in here, if you've got a screen name, your first name in here, you know, like, you know, hi, Joe, awesome, we are now connected, check out my YouTube channel, and here's a YouTube link, great, uh, for great training on passive income and Twitter, cheers, Alicia, so another little ninja trick I've been doing lately, and it's actually working very well, is instead of, you'll see a lot of people who are on Twitter, and their direct messages, everyone says, Go to my Facebook page, check me out, like my page. Boring. You need to think outside the square. And if you can take people over to YouTube, what are you doing? And you've got some good videos there, then um, you're showing them some value. You're showing them a different side of things. And then if they want to come back and look you up in Facebook, they will, or they'll subscribe to your channel. It's also another great way to get subscribers. And that again is free traffic, uh, people coming, seeing your offer, because if you are active on YouTube, you should be doing videos on, you know, like some training videos on a strategy, like a traffic strategy or uh, giving people some value. It's usually training that most people look up in the internet marketing or reviews. If you've done any reviews on any particular uh, company, like maybe some of you guys have done a review on Moab make a YouTube video of it, then, you know, you, instead of sending people to your Facebook page, like send them over to your review on Moab on YouTube. And that way people get to know you instantly. Oh, okay, that's Brendan or that's David, you know. And it's just a different way to connect with people. And then hopefully they become a subscriber. And then if you're smart, you'll have a link underneath your YouTube link, YouTube video, and they might even just click on it. So there's a, a click, maybe even a lead if they sign up or put their email address into your uh, lead page. Um, I do use the Facebook strategy, but it doesn't really work very well. Um, I am starting to fade that out. So I'm actually directing people. I'm promoting a passive income strategy at the moment. So I'm actually directing people to there um, in YouTube. Um, just to see how that goes. I'm just testing it. You can have quite a few uh, welcome messages. I, at this point, I've only got four. And then the other thing that you can do is you can do a welcome tweet. So as soon as someone follows you, you can welcome them. Hello, how are you going kind of thing. So, and again, you can put in a, a variable so it personalizes it. So, you know, like here, Bob, so glad we connected. How are you going? It makes it look like you, you know, you don't have to always spam people links. Everyone's becoming pretty over spamming links. So, um, yeah, just ask people how they're going. And you'll be surprised the conversations that come out of it. I'm actually, oh, I'm always making conversation on Twitter. If someone was to get back to you, say this one, you know, Bob, glad we connected. How are you going? If Bob was to write back to me and say, I'm doing really well. Well, then I would actually write back and I actually think I have some up here at the moment to get back to because I deliberately haven't done this today. 
There was one guy. Uh, yeah, see, everyone's just doing Facebook. Uh, there was one guy. Oh, like this guy here. I'm actually going to answer him. He said, hey, thanks for the follow. I always answer and go, um, yeah, no problem. How are you going? How are you going today? And in this, that's a crowd. Oh, this is an old, uh, also my connect list. Uh, um, because I've got that Facebook link there, I'm just going to say, are you on Facebook? To and just ask, I just open conversation, and sometimes it's good just to check out what they are doing, who they are, before I do answer because there might be something in there. Uh, freelance internet marketing expert, special in SEO and social media marketing. I know he's in Bangladesh, but you just never know. People, yeah, you just never know. So. Mm, no, I think I'll just leave it at that for the direct message. Anyway, I'll connect back with that one later. Um, yeah, so I, I do do that, I but I usually do it on my phone, not in my front of my computer. I'll scroll through. Uh, yeah, this guy here, I think I... Uh, yeah, see how it's got Brandon in there? Let me know yours, Brandon. Any questions about home-based business, getting more leads with PPC, passive income? Um please ask me and he's just said thanks so that's good that he's just even responded uh there was a guy in here the other day i had a great old yarn to him about some stuff mm. yeah can't find it that many come through so you just scroll through do it on your phone sitting on the couch or wherever you are and um yeah so that's what um status brew can do in regards to direct messaging Welcome messaging, which is pretty powerful in itself. The other thing that Status Brew is really good to do is is you can follow people really quickly instead of like sitting on your phone and going through. So like these here, these are my new followers today. So I can actually go over here and do fast follow. And I can just go click, 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 get a heap of followers. And I can do the same with unfollow, which is very important to do because new unfollowers, you don't really want to, like, it's okay to follow people who don't follow you back, certain people, but um, there are not following back. It is good to get people out if they're not active. Just clean your list up, I guess. So I could just go unfollow. Actually, again, I can do the um, fast, oops, fast unfollow. It actually tells you up here too how many people you've followed. So I've only, just before I just followed 11. And uh, you can follow up to 1,000 people a day doing this. And I can just go through and clean my list up. Done. That's probably maybe all I want to do. The other thing that I was doing in here, uh, you can use this power search. So say I want to target people in Herbalife. Then it will bring up all people who are in Herbalife. And that's in all different languages, which I don't really want foreign languages. But I think I can go back to... Let's go Herbalife and let's go uh, USA. Actually, there might be not too many people. I targeted these guys the other day. Uh, okay, so I want to go, I want to follow a heap of people who are currently in Herbalife because that's a good target market. And okay, and I can just go follow. So I just follow a heap of people. Yeah. 
Uh, what else do I do in here? Uh, I also use it for Instagram. That's pretty much all I actually do in Status Brew for Twitter, but I'm also using it for Instagram. Uh, can you use Instagram if you don't have a smartphone? No, you can't. You can use it on your um, on your computer, but you cannot post. You can only post from an uh, from a what do you call it? An iPhone or an iPad. Uh, so if I this should log me in. Hopefully, it just logs me in straight away. I could add a comment, but I actually can't post. So even if I go up here, I can't post. I wish I could because there's lots of things that I would like rather post in here than um, do it from my iPhone sometimes. So sorry, Chris, you can't. Uh, and where was I back to here? So. Um, even in Instagram here, all it's really doing is it's just showing you followers, unfollowers, just kind of that area of it. You can't see posts. Um, yeah, you, you can see all your followers. Yeah, but you can't see posts or anything like that, unfortunately. It's just a really – Instagram is very limiting – you can only, yeah, like I said, from an iPhone, but in Status Brew, it's just really for managing any app that you do have for Instagram from your PC. Like there's another one called Icono Square. It is really just for um, monitoring, cleaning up, that kind of stuff, but not for posting. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to show you guys? Status Brew. Oh. Uh... Now this one is not even used yet by many people. It's called missingletter.com. Oh, I've spelled it wrong, haven't I? So it's L-T-T, -T, no E-R. So the E is missing. This is really cool. I'm only using the free version of this at the moment, but what it does is, if I go back to... It's actually attached to my blog and it's pulling up tweets on my behalf like this. In case you missed it, I wrote an article last week. Missing Letter did this for me. It's just a, I only do the free one. It keeps telling me it wants me to upgrade, but I'm not, I'm happy just to do the free one. I think it only likes you to do one article, but... I, um, where is it, where is it, my account maybe? So what it does is it put, it is attached to my blog and my latest article, it pulls up tweets. So you, you can say here, see here, fantastic. It looks like we already take, detected three articles for this blog. We'll continue monitoring for new articles. We'll notify you when new ones are detected. In fact, how exciting. It looks like there's a schedule waiting for your approval. I usually do this once a week or so. And you can see here, like my latest one was about the Bing uh, webinar I did. So it's saying review campaign. And what it wants me to do is um, approve all these. What you can do, it will instantly give you hashtags. So if you don't like the hashtags, so PPC advertiser, Campaign's not really a very good one. Walk isn't a very good one. You just delete them. Waste isn't a very good one. Don't, definitely. And if I wanted to, I could add them in. So say I wanted to have hash, uh, MLM. I could just add it in. Just go done. It also finds a couple of images. And if I approve all these, I just go approve. I can remove the image, edit the text depending on how long I want to spend in here. And then I can come down here and just go uh, approve all tweets and approve schedule. Um, I won't because I need to change that. So I won't approve it. But that's just another 
this one I have not paid a single cent for. It's free. And I believe they actually go through that article, like, for example, oh, yeah, per blog post, it will tweet out for one year, I believe. Yeah, from that blog post. So it just picks out all little stuff. So therefore, yeah, your blog posts are just getting rinsed and repeated. And, you know, as I said, Twitter moves so fast that uh, you can easily keep posting the same blog posts and people haven't read it because Twitter just moves so fast. So I, I think this one's really cool. I haven't actually told anyone about this little one yet. It's something I got off of um, social media um, examiner uh, podcast that I listened to. I thought it was pretty neat. So I'm really just playing with it and exploring it. But it is another way of just getting eyeballs back to your blog. And then if people get back to your blog, then actually it's a good one for Chris Hooker there. If, um, you know, you're getting eyeballs on your blog, it's free. Then people are getting to know you, like you. They're reading your articles. They, If they like your articles, they'll keep reading, coming back. Might even uh, uh, favourite your blog into their, I don't know, browser or whatever. And, you know, and they might keep reference back to it. You just never know. So that's just a really cool one. And what else have I got? Uh, I did make a little bit of a list. That's pretty much it. That's my strategy for Twitter.